Did we finally found Tigger? That actually hey. looks like Tigger and he's on his own. It only took me how many days? Uh, six days. He's 24 99 which is very pricey, but, but you've been searching for so long. You've been searching for Tigger. He's coming week. home. He's definitely coming home. Did we found Tigger? I found Tigger. We also found a squirrel shirt. Yeah, we found a dog t-shirt for me. So everybody's happy. Yeah. We've got about 20 minutes until our test track fast pass. We were just hanging about the character spot to see if anyone showed up, but it's still few. Blah, 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 Pluto. Yeah, still Pluto. Still for Pluto. We, we already met Pluto. Yeah. I'm sure Pluto's had enough of us for today. Probably. I'm not had enough of Pluto. I'd go see Pluto. Yeah. Right. Here comes the storm. Do 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 do. Yeah, living with the lands back down to a 10 minute wait, so we'll go and check that out. So just a couple more rides and then the rest of the day we're just going to check out the World Showcase. This has worked out quite well because this was this queue was full of people before. Now it's a relative walk on. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions. <laughs> Just ahead, welcome to our living laboratories, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests, now and into the future. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. Globally, tilapia, bass, and cat water in the tanks. As a result, we're able to save... Hey, Mickey. ...is an important goal of research traditional growing methods. Living with the lamb was alright. little educational boat tour there, learning about different yeah. modern techniques. It was nice. It was interesting. Uh, Tell me about some uh, geography A levels. Um, but I would have been gutted if we'd wait 40 minutes for it uh, or half an hour. Yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad it was a walk on. Yeah. I, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have been happy if I'd queued half an hour for that. But it, it was nice, it was interesting, I enjoyed it. And also, if you're really, really into it, you can do like a, a behind the scenes tour, it's called. Yeah, go and learn Which, more and go actually go into the greenhouses. Yeah, it's the uh, the desk next to Soarin' as you go in. Yeah. And um, take around the greenhouses and talk you through the different ways that they are growing things sustainably. Yeah, so, that's pretty good. If you're into that sort of thing or you just want a break from the park, it sounds like a nice thing to do. It's just because we're here for such a limited time. We're trying to do stuff that we really, really want to do first. It is now time for our test track fast pass. So we're going to head over there and go and do that. Yeah. Just drumming on some bins. Ladies and gentlemen, after this time test track is currently closed due to the inclement weather in the immediate vicinity. So here's a question. Why, why, why does it smell like eggs around the test track? A like really strong smell of eggs. Yeah, what's that all about? Tell us, YouTube. You know. It's really odd. Test track is closed at the moment. So it's the weather. Yeah, apparently they'll honor our fast pass up until 9 p.m. tonight when the park closes. So uh, yeah, it's just a case of, of waiting to see when it reopens. Because I, I don't really want to walk off into the World Showcase and then have to come back here later. In a positive turn, because we had a fast pass for Test Track right now, they've converted that into a multiple experiences fast pass, which we can use on any of the rides here in Future World right up until the park closes at 9pm tonight. But we thought we were also still able to book another fast pass. So what we've done is we've booked a fast pass for the Illumination show tonight. So it's worked out quite well for us. So we're here in the uh, Coca-Cola Cool Club. We've got flavours from around the world, different types of Coca-Cola. Stevie's breaking the machine. I've left it twice. Which one's this one? That one? I don't know say it. Gorana Belly? Gorana Kuat. It smells very odd. I don't really say so anything. I'm trying the Inca Cola from Peru. It smells more fruity. It smells a bit like Sprite. 
Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Again, it's not got a lot of taste to it. It's not as tasteless as the other one, but it's still not. Yeah. You know, the sign says it tastes like liquid bubble gum, and I can I can see that. Yeah, a little bit. Some strawberry. I quite like that one. Yeah, it's kind of fruity. And some bibo from South Africa. And that's mango flavour, I think. I really like that. Uh, not too keen on that one. I'm not a massive mango I fan. The, I don't like mango much, but I don't think that's mango. Oh, there we go. What does it say? The Orange Bebo strawberry fruit. peach. Could be... Peach. It's yeah, it's peach probably peach, like. peach flavour. I love that. I think that's really yeah. nice. It's a Vegeta Vita. I don't know how I'm going to be with this one. This one's a still one. Yeah, I'm not, yeah your face looks like mine. It's not awful, but I wouldn't buy it. No. Oh, yeah, Some oh, Fanta yeah. Melon Frosty from Thailand. Yeah. Ooh. I like that one. It's like fizzy watermelon. Yeah. Not too bad. Melon Frosty is the first Fanta that I've ever liked. I now, you, now you're about to try another Fanta. Pineapple. Fanta pineapple. That one's okay. It's not a very strong taste of pineapple. No. It's more like soda water with a bit of a hint of pineapple. A bit bored of that one. Now finally we've got Beverly from Italy. It's a very strong licorice taste, isn't it? What was that Beverly? What was it? What's awful? I really like the Melon Frosty Fanta, which is Thailand. I wasn't massively keen on any of them. I, w I wouldn't buy a bottle of any of them. I buy a bottle of melon stuff. That's the only one I buy a bottle of. To go to Thailand, the rain stopped, and uh, it looks like they're about to reopen the test track. Hopefully, so fingers crossed. Test track was great fun. I want to go on it again. Well, that's definitely my favourite here. I think it's the only like thrill ride yeah, here. Yeah, the only thrill ride in Epcot. Our dinner reservations are in about an hour now anyway, so we need yeah. to start making our way wrap the other way around the World Showcase towards Italy. We've switched the GoPro now, because it's uh, it's raining and we need to walk around the World Showcase, and uh, the other camera isn't waterproof. Interesting point to note, you can actually walk, there's a little path over there. There's a gift shop down there though. <laughs> there's a gift shop, yeah, there's, there's a walkway that has a gift shop on it. Yeah, you can walk through there to the Boardwalk Resort, and also the uh, uh, there's a lot of bars and restaurants um, on the boardwalk and the other side is Hollywood Studios so it is possible to walk from Epcot to Hollywood Studios if you uh, felt the need to do that and you were park hopping on the day. Hopefully if we get time we will go down to the boardwalk at some point. We're in Italy now. It's looking very Italian as you would expect. Pizza. All right, we are not only garlic bread starter. How is it? Okay. It's okay. Oh, mate, okay. Oh no. Our drinks just arrived. I've got the um, seasonal beer, which is uh, La Rosa. Okay, uh, a red ale, really tasty. Stevie's got a mimosa. Is that nice? Nah, not yet. It's like that drink that you have at Christmas. Oh, uh, Book's Fizz? Yeah. yeah. Nice one. Our pizza just arrived. I've got the uh, Conte and Stevie has created her own. Mine has spicy sausage, pepperoni, mushrooms, onions and cherry tomatoes. Sounds good. Got some desserts. Stevie's got a tiramisu. And I've got these things. I've forgotten what they're called. They're uh, basically deep fried cheese ball things with some whipped cream and chocolate sauce. This looks a lot nicer presentation wise on the menu. Yeah. It's just a slab. Slab on a plate. What does it taste like? It tastes pretty good actually. Just uh, came out of Vianopoli. We're honest, pretty disappointed with the meal. Yeah, for the, the price. Yeah, the, the pizzas look really nice. To be fair, yeah. let me just stay in advance. We were aware it was going to be very expensive. We knew it was going to be an expensive meal. Yeah, but so, um, I don't know for, for how much it cost. It just it, it wasn't worth it in yeah. uh, in our opinion. I, I think the that to be honest, the main flavour of the pizza was just the base. We did it? just have pizzas. This isn't for the pasta or anything like that. We didn't try those. The, the main flavour of the pizza was the base, and you could. Um, and although the base was really tasty, it was really fresh dough and everything. Yours was. You um, 
yeah, there, there, then there wasn't like a really rich flavour. I was expecting like flavours to kind of jump off the pizza, and, and that didn't really happen. The camera lens is steamed up, by the way. Apologies, yeah. apologies, camera. It looks like we're in fog, but it's not. It's just, it's just our friendly Florida humidity just steaming the lens. Yeah. Up. Because we've been in air conditioning for the last uh, hour or so. My base on mine was actually, for the majority of it, was pretty soggy. But I did have cherry tomatoes on mine, but it was ridiculously soggy. Like, it was really bad. You couldn't taste any of the toppings, and there was, like, no sauce on it. Yeah, there was, there was barely any sauce, and then the, the toppings didn't really taste much, to be honest. Pretty, pretty disappointing. The, the, the desserts tasted a little better. Yeah, my tiramisu was gorgeous. That's the only part of the meal that I really enjoyed. But it... It cost, would you say it cost the same as Be Our Guest? Yeah. Or nearly the, the same? It, it, cost, it, was, it was within a few dollars of costing the same as Be Our Guest. And it, it was and nowhere the, near as, as, as good. And that's not taking theming into account, that's just the food. The food yeah. at Be Our Guest was phenomenal. Yeah, Be, Be Our Guest, the food tasted really good. And, and there was all the theming of the Beast Castle and yeah. the fact that you, the beasts walk around and you go and meet the beast afterwards. Yeah. That, that it was, was worth just, it. That was just a pizza restaurant. And um, it just wasn't good. No. The service was great. The service was much better than even initially. Getting seated was so fast. It was miles better than me, I guessed. And um, the server, yeah. the server was really nice. His name was Niccolo. Or Niccolo. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but he yeah. was lovely. Yeah, yeah. The, Can't yeah. fault the service at the, all. The guy serving us was really friendly. All, all the service, we, they were seated us really quickly and everything. Yeah. The, the food, the food was a letdown. Exploring Germany. Caramel. Caramel culture. We'll have to look in the German Christmas shop. Like these proper steins with the little uh, Santas on them. There's, woo, it's $135. Let's put that back and never speak of this again. In other expensive news, this little wooden reindeer is $26.99. It's a sparkly castle. This Dumbo here is nine and a half thousand dollars. Whoa. A nice view over to Spaceship Earth over the lake over there. Very little squirrel. Stevie just met Mickey and Minnie I and Goofy. All in one go. It's very emotional. Oh, you're very cute. <laughs> Fireworks and laser, which has got laser and stuff as well.
in the hotel now. Really enjoyed the uh, illuminations, reflections of Earth. So it was a really great fireworks and laser and water show. Yeah, it was good. Definitely recommend going and seeing it. In terms of Epcot itself, we were talking on the way home. It's pro- probably our least favourite of the Disney parks. Still good. It's not, yeah, it's, it's no, it's no bad thing. I, I think it's just a credit to how good the parks are in yeah. general. I don't know. It doesn't feel like a theme park. It does. It feels. I don't, I don't even. It's more of an. I called it earlier today. I called it more of an experience than a theme park. Yeah. I don't know if that makes any sense, but. I didn't feel like I was in a theme park. The only time that I did is when I was on Test Track, and yeah. Test Track was amazing, by the way. Yeah, t- Test Track was great. But Soaring was really good, but again, that's more of an experience I, rather I, than a ride. I enjoyed Soaring. That's the only motion simulator that's not made me ill. Yeah, so which, is, which, is a bo- which is a bonus. Yeah. That is all for today. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed watching our day out at Epcot. And tomorrow is a very Harry Potter-filled day, which Stevie's very excited about. So it's another big, exciting coming. day for Stevie. We've got early access passes so that we can get into Universal for for an hour before it opens to the general public. It's another early start tomorrow. Yeah, so we, we, we need to we be in Universal Studios for 8 o'clock, so we probably want to be parking the car up there at about 7.30. Which means we want to get up at about 6. Yeah, get up at 6, <laughs> out of the hotel for 7, park up at Universal for 7.30, into the park for 8 and straight to Gringotts. So we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. <laughs>